What's good, Rizzle fam? It is your boy, Big Man. All right, we got to talk about some real talk that went down recently. On March 30th, a sh** happened at a restaurant in Memphis that's owned by the legendary Yo Gotti. Witnesses said that things got heated real quick and a brawl broke out, leading to gunshots being fired. And sadly, two people died and at least five others got injured. Police arrived on the scene, but they haven't found the sh** yet. This is just another tragic reminder of how senseless gun violence is and how it affects our communities. Rumors started coming in about why this incident took place, and some suspect that this may have been connected to the beef between Yo Gotti and Young Dolph. Meanwhile, all that Yo Gotti is trying to do in the last few days is keep his business rolling and stay focused on his goals. Here's the deal. On March 30th, 2023, a shooting occurred at a restaurant in Memphis, Tennessee, which is reportedly owned by rapper Yo Gotti. According to eyewitnesses, a fight broke out in the restaurant, which escalated real quick into gunshots being fired. It all started with a verbal argument between two guys. One thing led to another and the emotions got the best of both the parties. They couldn't hold back their feelings, so punches started flying left and right. Where guns are available, they're bound to be drawn. And sadly, for everyone who was at the Pride that night, that is exactly what happened. The fist fight transitioned into a gunfight, and that's when things started getting out of control. Security tried preventing this incident as it was ensuing, but there was simply nothing that could be done. Once the fight moved from the entrance of the restaurant out into the parking lot, that's when bullets started flying. The police arrived on the scene, and the area was quickly cut off from the public eye. Victims were taken to a nearby hospital, and they received medical attention. However, two of the victims later succumbed to their injuries. WREG reported that the five additional shooting victims, four males and one female, were all transported to hospitals in private vehicles after the shooting. The boys in blue have not made any arrests yet, and the investigation is still ongoing. Authorities are urging anybody with info to come forward and assist in the investigation. This shooting is the latest incident of gun violence in Memphis. A city has seen a significant increase in shooting in recent years. The city has implemented several measures to try and reduce gun violence, including increasing police patrols and working with community groups to promote nonviolence. According to data from the Memphis Police Department, there were 2,108 shootings in 2022 alone, a 23% increase from the previous year. This surge in gun violence has prompted city officials to take action and implement measures to address this issue. One of the measures the city has implemented is increasing police patrols in high crime areas. The police department has also established a gun crime task force to investigate gun-related crimes and identify potential suspects. Additionally, the city has partnered with community groups to promote non-violence and provide support support and resources to those affected by gun violence. Despite these efforts, the incident of gun violence in Memphis remains a concern. City officials and community leaders continue to work together to find effective solutions to reduce the prevalence of guns and prevent further incidents of gun violence in the city. Yo Gotti did not state his opinion on this tragic incident. However, he has been vocal about his desire to help reduce gun violence in Memphis, and he's worked with community organizations to provide resources and support to those affected by gun violence in the past. The only reaction that you can see from Gotti this time around on his social media is one tweet and a number of posts that have to do with Glorilla. On the same day of the incident, Yo Gotti tweeted, don't lose your focus, let nothing get in your way. And on his Instagram, we see Gotti posting his promos videos of his artists. He's pushing them into the front lines of the industry as much as he possibly can, but there was no response from Gotti when it comes to pride. Now, some say there's no reason for Yo Gotti to get involved in the matter restaurant has a 10-year history of good service and a solid reputation. This is an incident that took place between two people who couldn't keep their calm, and it could have happened anywhere else, really. Yo Gotti, nor his mom, Geraldine, who's the manager and the chef, have very little or virtually nothing to do with what took place. However, then you have those who believe that because this restaurant does in fact belong to Gotti, it could somehow be tied to the old beef that existed between Gotti and Dolph. Some claim that this could be a part of the aftermath, and that it's some sort of retaliation coming from the people close to Dolph. That, however, is nothing more than just a rumor. People online rushed to squash it, arguing that this incident had nothing to do with either Dolph or Gotti, it was just something completely different. My wife works at Prive. She was there, and it was just another night in the end. Nothing to do with Dolph. It was an argument that escalated. It happens every day around here. The same day at Walmart in Olive Branch, a suburb, two older guys got into it with a group of youngsters and guns were pulled. The store was evacuated. And that's most likely what happened. According to sources, Yo Gotti wasn't even in Memphis when the shooting took place. But the internet has its own ways. 
and we've seen plenty of false rumors come and go. That is nothing new. However, this case of violence that we saw take place is definitely raising a major concern in the community. Black on black crime, the stigma surrounding business owned by black folks, and the list goes on. One comment on YT makes you think that it's basically impossible to run a business if you're a successful rapper who made some enemies in the rap game. Sooner or later, it's gonna bite you. If you are a straight rapper and you are successful enough to open your own businesses, you should always be the man behind the scenes and have someone else do it for you. Because of haters and street beef, you don't want that stuff coming to your businesses. It will make it so much harder for you to open up places and people wanting to do business with you in the future. Then one person took notice of the stereotypes that we see in the mainstream media that is causing a lot of unnecessary tension and division. They went on to say, one thing happened to a black person establishment and somehow all of us are grouped in. As we can see, this incident at the Pride restaurant is yet another example of how we have to work on solving our differences. We've got a lot of problems on our hands and the hip hop community 100% agrees that it's about time we change something. But what are y'all thoughts, comments, and opinions on this terrible and sad incident that took place in Memphis just the other night? You think Yo Gotti should speak up about what happened? Let us know in the comment section down below. Thanks so much for watching and supporting the channel. If you like our content, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel for more news and coverage from the hip-hop world. And as always, remember to keep it rizzled.